All right, ladies and gentlemen, so with this assignment, as we see here, we have two arcs connected with a tangent line with two circles in the middle and looks like a keyway hole. So to begin, what I want you guys to do is make sure you're in your object layer property. I want you to create a center diameter circle. That circle is going to be 1.25 inches in diameter. Now, I'm going to teach you a new function. I want it to be called copy. I'm going to click this, press enter. I'm going to select the center as my base point. It says here, select base point. So if I hover over this, it's going to come up with a white cross, and that cross is going to turn green. Now, I'm going to type in 6 and press Enter. So that's going to be 6 inches away from each other now. Let me zoom in. So now that we have these two base points, I'm going to create the other circle. Granted, uh, oh, so... I'm going to select center radius because right here it calls out for a radius, but we know this is a circle. It's just basically cut in half. As you know, the whole circle gets diameter, half circles get radius. So I'm going to type in center radius or click center radius, hover over this, I'm going to type 1.5. Now I could have moved both of these over as well, uh, copy them both over, it doesn't matter, same thing. I'm going to type in 1.5 again for this. Now, we have to make sure that our snaps are correct. One second. There we go. So we have endpoint, midpoint, center, quadrant, intersection, extension, perpendicular, tangent. Now, these two lines are going to be connected tangent or it can be quadrant. That means it's going to be on one of the corners. Tangent means that the, uh, the line will be on top of the circle, but it won't intersect it. So I'm going to create a line. I'm going to go to the bottom edge right here. As you can see, the quadrant constraint showed up. Showed up right here as well. I'm going to press Escape. I'm going to click on line again. There goes my quadrant. And quadrant, escape. So as long as these two are spaced six inches apart, we don't really have to worry about anything for now, okay? So I'm also going to show you guys another option or another tool called trim. So trim is the scissors right here. I'm going to go to trim, and I'm going to select these circles. Press enter or escape. Now we have to make sure we are getting this line. So what you can do is you can go to construction, type in our favorite command X line, hover over the circle, our center point is going to come up right there. Now I'm going to offset this. It's going to say through. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to offset this by two inches. Offset this by another two inches. Now, I can also create an X line right here. I'll do it right here. Oh, sorry. I'll do it in the middle. Let's see if it'll let me. All right, here we go. So I did it in the midpoint. And I'm going to go like right there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset. So I select my offset tool. Press enter. I'm going to offset that down by 0.5. Now if we look here, it's going to be this gap. So all I do is go into my object layer property. Click on line. And I trace it out. So 
Next, I'm going to go trim. Let me turn off my construction layer property. Trim. There we go. So up next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my center marks. So, or center lines. I have a center line right here. I'm going to click on center. I'm going to go to annotate. I'm going to cre create center mark. Center mark there. Center mark there. Now to create a center line, what I can do is click center line. Click that line. Click that line. Click this line and this line. And there we go. We have a center mark. I could have also done it before, but it's all good. No worries. So after that, I have to start to annotate. Go back home. Go to dimension. I'm going to annotate the diameter and radius first. Those are pretty easy. I go here. Diameter. Right there. Now, I'm going to go to do the radius. So I click on radius. Right there. Okay. Next up, we're going to do the linear stuff. So the linear stuff, I'm going to grab it at this point right here and this point right here. And I'm going to drop it down. Then I'm going to go linear again. I'm going to do from here to here. And then I'm going to do it again here to here. Try to match them up as close as possible. Now I have to do this and this. So some things that we noticed is that there's two decimal points here, four here. There's uh, no zero ahead. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to type in dim sty. Let me do that again because I did it too fast. Dim sty. And that's the command to bring up the change of edits. So we're in standard. I'm going to go to modify. I'm going to go to... I don't have to change the text, sorry. Primary units. So I'm going to leave it at two decimal points after. I'm also going to take off the leading zero. That's going to remove the zero from here. There we go. After that, you're going to save it. So I go here, save as. This assignment is going to be Rosario for your last name. Assignment 1B. Make sure to save it in your marking period 1 folder. Take care, y'all.